The following is a non-profit fan-based parody. Code Lyoko is owned by France 3, Canal J, Cartoon Network, Antifilms, Tanya Palumbo, and Thomas Romain. Please support the official release. We have a new student today, children. Let's all stare at her and make her feel awkward. Um, hello. My name is Lita, and I'm, uh, from Holland. No, um, wait, Mars. No, wait, 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 Canada. She came from a horrible place, which she and no one else is ever going back to. Ever. Ever. Well, Ailita, I'm sure you'll fit right in around here, and oh my god, what the hell are you all smiling at? You're freaking me the f*** out. I love the human world so much! It's beyond anything I've ever imagined! Food and sleep and people? Yeah, it's too bad the only students at this school who have names besides us were Sissy's pack of assholes. Oh no, Odd. I was expecting them. The assholes were foretold too. Foretold? In the holy book of earthlings that Jeremy gave me. Or as I affectionately referred to it, the book of Belpois. He or she who lives a subservient life to the chosen geniuses will live in splendor on the promised day when they rise up and destroy the assholes in Curran's command. That he or she who sides with the assholes in any way, shape, or form shall descend to a place worse than hell itself. Lyoko. It just sounded so spooky and guilt-inducing! How can anyone not believe that? It's okay, Aelita. You're one of the chosen few, and you're not even a human, so you're not subject to judgment. What about us? Oh, you know where you're ending up. Oh, we forgot about Jim. Well, that's okay. A little homelessness never killed anybody. Oh, hi, children. And hello, my new drug peddling partner. Hey, partner. Oh, God, I can't say it with a straight face. Anyway, come on, all you filthy casuals. We're putting this bitch to rest. Hey, uh, Jeremy, how'd your leg heal so fast? Anime. This is France, assholes. all that steam coming from? I think we should all take a moment to acknowledge our adventure, to remind ourselves that we are turning off a device that could be of great use to us in the future. And is Xana really all that bad? I mean, sure, he's an asshole, but so are we. And what I'm trying to say is that I don't want to give up my doomsday time- Jeremy, turn the computer, computer off. off! Fine, you guys just hate science, don't you? Here's to taking a piss on Darwin's grave. Well, Xana, this is um, it. Wait, you are a worthy adversary. Maybe this adversary. wasn't such a good idea. Your time ends now. Goodbye Jeremy, I changed my mind. Good riddance. <laughs> Jeremy, turn the computer back what on. What happened? Hell yeah, I'm. What? Uh, so what seems to be the problem, Jeremy? The perfect excuse to start season two. Xana has infected you with a virus. Oh, that's way too convenient. He does this, but he can't just kill us all in our sleep or launch an attack on the weekends. Hmm. What's gonna happen, Jeremy? I don't want to go back. I can't. I won't! Hmm. Look, Aelita, we'll try to find a solution, but as for today, I'm beat. Hmm. I'll walk you back home to Yumi's. <laughs> wow, Jeremy. Even at night, the world is so beautiful. Just look at the walls of the factory. That's actually graffiti, and the river below it is mostly full of literal But it glistens in the moonlight. Sure is a good thing you don't have any prior reference for this stuff. Speaking of which... Here's a flower. I guarantee you there's not a prettier one alive. <laughs> <laughs>
Ah, uh, smells like the factory. Jeremy, I don't know how I'll ever thank you for bringing me here. Well, we're still working on that, but I have a few ideas. Come on! Woohoo! We're forward, aren't we? Hey, look at that. A young couple is in a photo booth. How romantic. Wait, what were we doing? You were mugging me. How could I forget? Jeremy, tonight was magical. I really want to let you know. Hey, foreigner, come inside and drink your water already. This stuff doesn't grow on trees. Whoops, that's the only meal I'm getting. Sorry, Jeremy, maybe another time. Jeez, what a late night. Hey, what's that? Oh, it's just a mutant cockroach. Come here, little guy. Ah, what the fuck? Now you're messing with Jimbo. Ah! And so, kids, that's how I successfully covered up the death of my wife. <laughs> okay, no need for alarm. There's a lot of unnecessary screaming at this school. Don't think an early death will change anything regarding that little buddy. Uh, I, I mean, everyone in the corner! Hard to believe that this is the protocol we have for school shooters. Oh my god, Xana learned how to send mass amounts of monsters to the real world. It's the apocalypse! Come to Katic, Odd. It'll keep you out of a gang. F*** you, Dad, Mom. Ending up in a street gang would be better than this. Jeremy, sorry, I'm out. Gonna spend my last day on Earth with the only person around here who will actually give a sh** if they die. You people are on your own! Oh, Jesus, it hurts more in real life! Move, 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 move! Holy shit! Oh, thank God, Yumi, but you did almost kill me with that spear. Yeah, who knew you could dodge that good? Wait, what? Jeremy, I know that there's a whole apocalypse going on and everything, but I'm not going back to Lyoko. Alita, we literally have no other choice. Yeah, how about we just leave? We don't really like these people anyway. Fantastic idea! Get in the scanner, I'm sending us to London. Oh, I am so in on that Hey, uh, where are Ulrich and Yumi? Living the American immigrant French dream. Die, motherfucker, die! Feel the wrath of yellow on one flash! And I'm missing out? <laughs> to Lou. Hold on, Jeremy. What are we doing here? Oh, well, the teleportation program is very experimental. You f***ed up, Jeremy! Oh, shut up, Odd. You weren't even invited. Why are my dreams always crushed? Thanks, Jim. You sure are good at mindlessly murdering things. When you've killed as many people as I have, you either drink yourself to death in shame, or just go with the flow. Zigzag while you run, Odd. It makes it harder to shoot. Oh, you dumbass, you got shot. You're losing life points. Uh, I hate you, Jeremy. Okay, now, Alita, just ski away like an Olympian. Just leave out the whole criminal offenses part of the job. Ulrich, where did the block go? It ran that way. <laughs> Why can't Jeremy just program me a power or something? Why can't you take less time to deactivate towers? Yeah! Thanks, guys. Don't know what I'd do without all these ridiculous ex machinas in the show. Yeah, speaking of which, get to the goddamn tower! Do I have to? Hey, Lita, so homie Goddard will replace you as the most popular female character! Jesus, fine! I have no regrets. I am a man of honor. Even if I do not physically return, the great leader will reaccept me into his heart. I will be a hero among men. Farewell, Charisse. Farewell, Kelton. As for Delma, the factory. Everyone who didn't buy my heroin, and especially you, I'll see you in hell. All of you. Tower deactivated. Return to the past, now! God damn it, do we have to do all this again? Alright, let's go to the factory. I'm um, about that. We're gonna need a little break from all this. It gets kind of exhausting saving the world five times a week. So that means... no, Aelita? Honestly, Jeremy, even I'm getting tired of it. Fine. How long do you guys need? An eternity. No, just a few months. Damn it! Okay then, let's leave. I'll kill you all one day. Not so fast. The only person that's gonna kill Anonymous is me. Didn't you hear, Jim? The J stands for jackass, so it has to be you! Oh my god, have I been deceiving myself this entire time? What has my life become? Who am I? 
What the? Does this girl have daddy issues or something? I'm 30 years older than her. Wait, we went back in time. How do you have that photo? Just deal with it. Begins now. Play your cards wisely.